Hi you guys, it's Linnea for Simon Hurley Create and today I'm going to be using the Piano Recital stamp set to create an unconventional colored Christmas card. So to start off with here, I'm going to use the Piano Recital stamp set and just mount that onto my Misty. Now since this is a red rubber stamp, you want to remove the excess, the mouse pad or the paper pad, whatever you have in your Misty, you want to take that out. And then I'm going to lay a piece of stark white cardstock from Simon Hurley Create over top of where I want it to be on that stamp. I'll add some removable adhesive to the back and then I can close my Misty kind of like backwards and it will adhere that cardstock onto the back of my Misty. Now I'm going to ink up this stamp and if you noticed, I kind of repositioned my cardstock just a little bit. We're going to be taking this out of the Misty to do the technique I'll do on the card and then putting it back in. So you do want to make sure that you have the cardstock in a place that you'll remember where it was. To start off with, I'm inking it up in triple berry ink and just kind of doing the bottom portion of that stamp. Then I'll come in with Remember Me ink and ink up the middle portion and I am making sure to overlap some of that triple berry ink. And you guys, look at that color purple that I created in the middle overlapping the Remember Me and triple berry inks. That is the most gorgeous purple. It's like a deep grape color almost. It's so pretty. So Simon, when you watch this, we need that color in ink and we need it soon. <laughs> so let's keep going inking. I'm doing the rosy cheeks up at the top. Again, making sure to overlap the Remember Me ink. Now I'm going to use a Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer and just spritz this a little bit with water. I'm not working on watercolor cardstock. I'm working on the stark white cardstock, so I don't want to add too much water. Probably maybe five or six sprays. And at first I was kind of disappointed because only the one ink started running. And then I got impatient and just went in with my fingers. And as I was going with my fingers, the rest of the inks kind of started running. So when you do this, just give your inks a second. Don't be as impatient as I was. I dried this really well with my heat tool. I'm going to add some more removable adhesive and I'm going to put this right back in my Misty where I had it the first time. And now comes the fun part. You could definitely leave your background just like this and have that kind of like smoky watercolory effect. But I'm going to ink over this with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I did use my powder tool because I'm going to emboss this ink because again I am impatient and this ink will smudge so I always emboss when I use my VersaFine ink. I'm stamping this down and check that out. Now you have the black music notes from that piano recital stamp set and you have this bleeding effect of the inks behind it. This is definitely not a new technique but it's one of my favorites. I think it's so so fun. I added some clear embossing powder over the top and heat set that. And I thought my background still needed a little something. So I'm going to go in with some red gold watercolor. And these are from Gonzi Tombi. They're just metallic watercolors. So any that you have in your stash will work perfectly fine. And I'll just use a paintbrush from Ranger and just flick this on. And that's going to bring in some of that gold metallic into my background. I heat embossed a gold sentiment from the Caroling Squad stamp set and just trimmed that sentiment out into a square. And I'll use some foam tape at the back to pop this up a little bit. And that's really going to complete this clean and simple card. I hope you enjoyed this non-traditional color palette for Christmas and I'll see you soon. Bye.